Sometimes you have to lose yourself to find yourself. The illusion of life on earth can manifest the false sense of self. When we incarnate into the physical world, we face our greatest challenge, the journey of self-discovery. As we peel away the labels of human consciousness, the truth is revealed. This lesson is inspired by a very short but powerful scripture from Matthew chapter 10, verse 25, and it reads, For whosoever will save their life shall lose it, and whosoever shall lose their life shall find it. And so it is written. Let's explore this allegory metaphysically. When we are born into the physical world, we wade through the river of forgetfulness, and through our life's experiences, we are tasked to rediscover our true nature all over again. The minute you were born, the doctor spanked you, causing your body to inhale a deep breath, followed by the exhale of a loud cry as life began again on earth. Labels are put upon us, race, creed, color, national origin, your lineage. We learn quickly what is expected of us. Little boys and little girls are taught how to behave. We assimilate with life on earth and get with the program. But who or what were you before you were spanked, before the labels? Think about that for a moment. We are heavily influenced by the environment we grow up in. Our family's religious beliefs become our own. Our immediate family and friends are our role models. What we are taught in early school years, the books we read, what we choose to watch on TV influences our minds. The current collective consciousness of the world dictates what is important and what is popular. Many people spend their entire lives distracted by the material world, for there's so much buying for our attention. The world consciousness teaches us that our lives are incomplete unless we are keeping up with the Joneses, collecting a lot of stuff. But what will it profit you to gain all the world has to offer while neglecting your divine purpose, soul growth? There are many institutes of higher learning around the world, our great universities, the Ivy League. They produce presidents, CEOs, doctors, they train us on how to be successful, how to succeed in the material world, how to make a name for ourselves. But I say the highest education is to know your true self, to gain an understanding of the natural laws of the universe, which we are a part of, and our intimate relationship to God. I had to lose myself to find myself. I was raised in a Southern Baptist church. When I was a kid, I didn't have a choice of whether I would go to church or not. We got up on Sunday morning and went to church. However, I had questions that the preachers could not answer. My consciousness was not satisfied. So eventually, as an adult, I stopped going. Breaking the chain of generations of thinking and believing is hard to do, to relearn, to reprogram, and opened one's mind to new thought. This has been my greatest challenge. It is a miraculous event in my life to have been deeply rooted in the Baptist interpretation of the Bible, but then to rise above it, to evolve in my thinking, living, and being, to become a student as well as a teacher of divine metaphysics. Metaphysics beyond the physical is a philosophy, a science, and a religion Science without religion is incomplete. Religion without science is blind. The practice of metaphysics is like a bridge that takes you from thinking you are a human being to knowing that you are a spiritual being on a journey of self-discovery. Metaphysics is that branch of learning that explores the unseen causes behind visible nature, a philosophy that examines the fundamental nature of reality including the relationship between mind and matter, between substance and attribute, and between potentiality and actuality. 
This is school, earth school, home away from home, the school of opportunity and spiritual growth. So use your time wisely. The best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in service to others. Our elder brother, Jesus, who was a master teacher and a way sure, did not come to be worshiped or to be served. He came to be of service, to help as many as possible. What you do in service to others returns to you 100 fold. All is mine. The universe functions, operates, and communicates mentally. The language is thought. This energy manifests on all planes of existence. Those that grasp the truth of the mental nature of the universe are well on their way to self-discovery. The creative source of life, the infinite living mind of which all things originate, is where we live and move and have our being. Nothing can exist or be conceived outside of this God energy. Sometimes our minds are filled with doubt, worry, and fear. And according to the law of attraction, the result will be, if we continue to focus on these energies, they will manifest in our lives. We must first learn to trust and believe that we are one with the source of all that is, and hold that thought, live that thought, and become that thought. To manifest all that is good and right in our lives, we need only align our consciousness with the infinite spirit within and affirm our divine inheritance as co-creators. The power of positive thinking can make a big difference in our lives. Practice mindfulness. It is the key. Mindfulness is not trying to control your thoughts, but not allowing your thoughts to control you. You and only you have the power to do so. You have the power to choose what you want to focus on. Psychogenesis teaches us that everything begins in the mind as a thought before it can come into being through the creative process and manifest into the physical world. Acknowledge and understand the power of your mind. Mind activates principle which produces results. What we focus on, we draw to us. Don't be distracted by the ways of the world, the noise and the haste. Move quietly, observing and learning in a non-judgmental way. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Because the battle for your consciousness is fought in your own mind, where positive and negative thoughts jockey for first place and attention, where the ego will fight for its labels, the false identity that has been put upon you since birth. The ego knows that to surrender or give up means its death as the rise of the light and the truth emerges from your soul. Our scripture teaches us that we have to lose ourselves to find ourselves. That is, to let go of old beliefs that no longer serve our greater good. To find yourself is to release all that is human and embrace the divine spark within you. There you will discover your greatest journey, your greatest love. So get lost and be amazed at what you find. Change the way you look at things. See yourself as an evolving spirit seeking growth through an expanded consciousness of life on earth. Open your mind to the infinite possibilities within you and begin to manifest the desires of the heart. In the stillness of meditation, we discover that spark of divinity hidden in the sheaves of the soul. This is the light of God consciousness. This is your spirit and your truth. May the amazing grace of the life force we call the Great Spirit, God, continue to guide us to even greater self-awareness that we may all stand and say, I once was lost, but now am found, was blind, but now I see. And so it is. For additional lessons and meditations, visit our website at www.meditatewnc.org. Thank you for joining us.